Here is the tale of the tape for the grand finals of the Back to Warcraft Weekly number 45. As so often, we'll be happy versus the dice. Happy not playing random. Happy playing undead. This is not a, uh, a memeing happy. Although, he did seem to meme a little last week. You guys remember the 5 expansion game? Apparently perfectly standard. Apparently perfectly standard. Uh, we'll see if he does the same. It's going to be hard to do it on the first map, though, because it's going to be Amazonia in this best of five. Here we go. His dice in the bottom left, happy in the upper right. Haven't seen happy yet today. We often don't get to see him in any games until the grand final, so. Players forces are under attack. And DK Ghouls for Happy and Demon Hunter for Dice is different. I mean, there seems to be a lot of changes in the meta in this matchup. Um So maybe Demon Hunter has become more standard recently. It's, I haven't caught up in the most recent like Moon games, for instance. Against Happy. Um <laughs> Not a good start for Dice. Uh to say it lately. Why? How is this? I guess the acolyte screwed it up, right? That's that's why this was so fumbly bumbly. Yeah, it was, it was a forced error. What about that ping equalizer thing? Apparently, it causes crashes. Uh, Dice didn't want to use it. But it would have sucked to use the ping equalizer because then they both are just on 130 ping the whole series. We at least want to see. <laughs> see, sometimes them being able to. Players' forces are under you know, micro. Demon Hunter looking for slippers. Gets another mantle. Not going to be bad for the panda, then probably the Naga. Probably the Naga. And at least the Demon Hunter now has level 2. Oh, Bash on the Ghoul. Another Bash on the Ghoul. <laughs> okay. Happy loses a unit of Creeps. More Bashes. Oh, nice surround on the Demon Hunter. That's kind of expected. Happy. Always lands this around. Has the coil for the ghoul. Places the bottom part of it. And this will be a TP. But not without some serious damage to the demon hunter does the TP out. Why no betting? I think all the <laughs> all the NA mods left after Hitman lost. <laughs> and the moon juice is dry. Hunter's Hall on the way, as expected. When are people going to go back to playing mass archers in this matchup? When? When, I tell you. So happy, not with the greatest of items, really. But he'll find a way to make his Lich strong. He always does. Whether he has to buy a circlet. Even if he has to buy a second orb, he'll do it. You know, I've never seen undead players buy two orbs. Maybe they should. That'd be that'd be wicked. Both players with boosts. This will be Naga second for Happy then. Waiting for that tier 2 to finish. And he's trying to get these middle camps crapped so that he doesn't allow this Ancient of War to find any value. And obviously creeping this right away with your second hero as a Night Elf is really risky. So if you can take away this creep camp, I ask you, what are the options for Dice at early tier 2? He's going to take the shop and get creep jacked? Well, he's trying to take it right now. Take the expansion, could creep jack. Don't try to. Naga will be snagged in five seconds. Oh my god. Okay, he doesn't get it. He had to try though, didn't he? You matter. Well, you're level three then. Where's that Naga at? Okay, now he's gonna get it. And 
Happy just waits around the tavern for a second, knowing there's going to be a wisp showing up eventually. And Dice instead just says, I'll go tier 3, whatever. I won't get my second hero just yet. Go tier 3. He sends another wisp up to get probably his own naga. It has to be his. It can't be a panda. No way a panda's going to work. How are you going to creep it to level 3? You're not going to. The Naga will be quite strong. This is actually a perfect Naga interview. Uh, interview? Why did I think interview? Inventory? Because someone said Moon in the chat, and I thought his Smurf name, Interview. That is Moon, right? On ladder? Demon Hunter, nicely playing aggressive to try to buy time and space for the Naga, but doesn't want to get surrounded, because then he would be dead. He would die if he got surrounded. Oh my god, dude. Why? And Demon Hunter is surrounded. I mean, yeah, whatever. Go game two. Go game two. Second boy, 666. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate you. That's a good job. Thank you. Appreciate the good job. Tier 3, around the corner. We just saw some orc players, and we saw some human players earlier. Orc Phoenix, it just so happens that Happy and Dice are oftentimes the strongest two players that sign up for this cup, so we have to see them in the grand final. And if you watch any North American stuff, it happens the best player is an Orc player, and all the other good players are Night Elf players for the most part. But if you watch Asian tournaments, you'll see human players and, and Orc players. Back in 30 seconds, Naga trying to creep this orange camp. This is actually kind of a... This has got to be the easiest orange camp on any map, right? Maybe? I think it is. I think it is. And Happy Ghoul Frenzy statues on the way. Lich with orb soon, and then Happy... Is he just gonna push? The classic tier 3 timing in this matchup. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Demon Hunter is finally back, and Naga is gonna try to get level 3. Last, thank you for the 21 months. Appreciate you. How you doing? Bone chimes would be good. Belt, not too bad, I suppose. Happy gonna get... Scroll the Beast. That's gonna be good for this fight and this fight only. Because if not, there'll probably be wisps nearby. Oil, no, but the Naga's just dead. Oh my god, and Dice leaves the game. Jesus. We'll see what map number two is. Amazonia is always a weird one. He says 10,000 ping currently. But he says go, and they go. And springtime, as expected, will be the next map. And probably after that, we'll have Concealed Hill. I'd have to imagine. Don't worry, we will be fixing the map pool today. Because you guys, yes, you, 
get to vote on which maps you want to see removed and then we get to randomize which maps are added which the maps that will be added will be good because all the good maps aren't in the pool currently so here we go springtime one of the better maps in this pool for sure on the upper left here's dice bottom right here's happy happy's not randoming undead by the way he is picking undead he's done with the whole random thing he says you know i want to be out of here by you know 10 p.m at the latest i don't want to be around till till midnight any longer so he, he's choosing undead So, Death Knight for Happy. Demon Hunter yet again for Dice. Is there some new meta that I am not up to date with, guys? Or is Dice just trying new things out? It seems like not too long ago it was it was Keeper Fairy Dragons that was the key to beating Happy. And it seemed to be pretty strong. I mean, that's what Dice had success with also. That's what Foggy was doing recently in War 3 Champions. Drunken Bash, thank you for the 38 months. It's hello. Well, hello to you as well. How you doing? Players' forces are under attack. A demon hunter for dice. Two games in a row. Acolyte being as annoying as ever. Oh, dice blocking, but I think he's only extending the inevitable. Because if you block it, it's still going to chase that acolyte. I don't think there's any way you can stop that from happening. And Acolyte is going to get the steal. He's going to get the steal. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Happy gets the last hit with the Acolyte. Oh, he's going to kill the Archer? Okay, no, he's not. And... Happy doesn't get this creep. Dice will get this creep, at least. There's a little two on the Demon Hunter. And perfect values for the DH as well. A player's forces are under attack. All the clothes just thrown on the DH as is necessary at this stage. Demon Hunter. And the archers are soon to be surrounded. He could bite dust at the shop. By the way, he did sell TP and go sacrificial skull, but dice did not bite on the fake. It's becoming more and more common for players to do this. I'm surprised Happy didn't just commit to the expansion, actually, now that I think of it. Against a demon hunter, he tends to just expo. Because what the hell is a demon hunter supposed to do against an expo? He has boots now, but it's taking so much. He's just—he's not even going for a surround. He's just right-clicking them all on the demon. Or why wouldn't you? Oh, one ghoul fall. The night of the creeps, though. Happy sells the ring. Trying to buy boots. Yeah, there's the boots. So Naga again for Happy. Use one right away to go scout probably right here. Just in case. You never know. Are under attack. The H slowly working his way to level 3. And there's the illusion clearing the expo. And Death Knight going to get level 3 here. Yeah, he will. And follow the illusion. Not only clears for the expo, but also pulls the creeps onto the ancient war. Are they gonna keep attacking it? It's just a berserker. Oh yeah, that is super annoying for dice. 
The Demon Hunter almost dies to the creeps? Oh, I'm glad I didn't miss that. Oh, no. He can't finish this camp. Dude. He didn't kill the priest. It interfired everything. He's an archer. All right. And the Ancient War can no longer be defended, really. Okay, at least the DH got level 3. What is Happy Sharking for right now? Inshore did live. Okay. Okay. Nicely done from Dice to not lose that. Although Happy continues to be annoying with the illusions. Happy looks for a consumable. Transfers the boots over. Coil use. Mana burn though. Yep, there it is. Nice from Dice. But finds himself in the surround. No, Happy very, very overzealous it seems like. Gonna lose another ghoul. All right, dice. All right. All right. Naga goes around. Might be able to find this kill. I think will. One attack. Two attacks. Nice. And now the ghouls. Slow that one. Slow this one. Oh, man. He could have got two ghouls there. Could have got two ghouls, but still nice. Nicely done from dice. And the Ancient War lives as well. Much better game, too. For sure. Still some mistakes, but much better game, too. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say that. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. There was no mistakes. Ever. From either player. Just kidding. Naga almost level 2. And Naga for happy. Gonna be very much behind in level 0 experience. Although happy did get the greater heal at least. Oh, if only he could have passed that to the Naga in time. This has to be pretty happy with his position, right? I wonder what the follow-up for Happy is going to be. Maybe a tier 3 push with a haunted goldmine behind it? That would be a very happy-esque play at this stage. And Soapy Mass now. Dice finally is able to creep this camp. A player's forces are under attack. Potion of vulnerability found. Dima Hunter with an invis pot. Hmm. Dice could get pretty big creep jack here, but this too much survivability. He doesn't go for it, he's just gonna keep creeping. I guess like two. Dima Hunter probably very tempted to start burning these statues. But not gonna go for it. Dice doesn't... Whoa, Dice doesn't finish this camp at all. He just runs... Through. Oh, he realizes what Happy's going to do next. Team Hunter goes around. And can burn the one coil away. Doesn't burn the Death Knight. Really doesn't want to use this potion. Or break this potion, rather. Of Invis. And now he's just going to lose his Naga? He's going to have to TP. Oh, dice, dice, dice. We'll be able to get this last hit, though, with the Mana Burn. Does get it. And does get the item as well? Yeah, the Slippers of Agility. Staff Teleportation should just be used, though. Because before you know it, you're going to be 1 HP, and then Nova Fork Whitman's going to come in. Okay, so good play from Dice, despite having to use the Town Portal. Gets it in the end. Players just continue to creep. Both players are tier 3 now with everything they wanted for Christmas. But I never get everything I want for Christmas, okay? I get nothing for Christmas, in fact, okay? They don't even mention Christmas to me, actually. I don't even want to hear about Christmas. I hate Christmas. Team Hunter topped off by the Rejuve, but no potion of invulnerability. A very tanky boy, though, I might add. 
Death Knight has one coil. Grabbed a heal scroll from the shop. Is this the fight that Dice wants? I'm surprised Happy hasn't been going for Coil Novas on the Archers and the Berserker just to clean those up. They do a lot of damage if you leave them. They are essentially do as much as a Dryad, pretty close to at least. In the, in the Berserker's case, much more. And actually, the Archer does more than a Dryad because the Dryad can't be roared. So if you take away the poison. So yeah, what I'm pretty much saying in a long-winded way is if they're not just Coil Nova and killed, they do a lot of damage in the back if these are kept alive. It was worth it to use the mana. Let's see what the red camp gives for both. Both could be looking for Kaggars, potentially. The dice will be... Book of Flames. Not horrible, although he might sell it. And for Happy, Wars on Battle Drums, pretty good. I like the Wellspring for dice. Although nighttime just passed, so could have been a bit better, but hey, at least he's getting it, not forgetting about it. Double potion of invulnerability. Spare needs to be healed up desperately. And the map is crept out. Not a lot of action in this game, really. Which level three. So Happy has maybe the strongest nuke he'll get in this game. And we're going to see it on this Naga right away, aren't we? Oh, maybe just on the Demon Hunter instead. No, he's, he's just nuking the Naga. Oh yeah, that's Happy's way. He just he just kills the Naga. So many players just nuke the Demon Hunter, but Happy says, I don't care, I'm going to kill the Naga. But now the Demon Hunter staffs up and Demon Hunter's just dead. Jesus, wow. <laughs> Was that Carson a bag of Doritos or something for Christmas? Yeah, I love Doritos, actually. I have a bag of Doritos. In my trash can right now. I love Doritos. They're my favorite chip. Also, I have nachos. I'm going to make nachos tonight. Not with Doritos, but I'm going to make like actual nachos. And here comes Happy. And you know what he's about to do? He's about to nuke that Naga. Oh, no, he nukes the bear. Dice is, is not going to hold this. Um... But dang nabbit, he's gonna try. Heal scroll used to save the ghouls. Demon Hunter is staffed out. And the moon wells are dry, but it is nighttime, or unless uh, maybe a moonstone's been used. This overlay always makes it confusing to know if a moonstone's been used, but it has. Crazy element, thank you for the, the sub at tier one. Appreciate you. How you doing? Oh, dice. The moon wells are doing so much work, but where are the units? Greater heal used. Happy 64 against 37 supply currently. Oh, maybe the Lich does go down. And bears come in at the nick of time, but... Oh, Rejuve devoured. He used three Rejuves and they all got devoured. One Destro falls, a bear falls, the ghouls. Getting low. Everything is low. I can't believe the moon wells are not empty yet. And the destroyers in the back chase the bears. The demon hunter is still soaking up so much <laughs> moon wells. Look at him! Oh my god, he's really doing his. Is he gonna force a TP? I can't believe Dice held. The power of moon wells, everybody. But the Naga staffed out? Oh my god, Dice. Holds. Barely, but holds. Um, needs a couple bears, though, to heal up these heroes. And Happy. This Lich is going to be out soon. What's he going to do in the meantime? Just expand? Or is he going to push again? There's only a couple of options because the map has crept out. You can sit in your base, you can attack, or you can expand. That's about it. That's about it. Or you can shark for damage, which is kind of like attacking, but different. Four options. This game's really simple if you break it down like that, isn't it? We're really used to show Moonstone, though? I don't know. It was definitely bugged right now. 
This timer always seems to bug. This is the one thing about this overlay. This timer always gets screwed up. I would almost personally just prefer the regular one. The regular, because I like the I like the normal one, but hey. Who am I? And now Happy just goes again. And I just gonna need a moonstone this time around. The moon wells were a saving grace. He's only got 95 juice in each of those puppies. I wonder how many moon wells the demon hunter soaked up in that fight. But now Happy has mana again. And we know where that mana's going if that Naga's out of position. Oh my god, Happy with 70 supply. The demon hunter is already 1 HP. And he gets the Devour on the Rejuve, my lord. And Happy with perfect control on the Fiends, always focusing the Dryads. Insane. And one Fiend's gonna fall. Oil saves to Destro, Demon Hunter not this lucky. Twice, and 2-0 for Happy. Better game for Dice, so maybe if he can do even better in the third game. Maybe we have a map four. Oh, my game crashed. Boom, boom, trying to get into the game, and then we'll update the score. We'll see what map three... I said it was going to be Concealed Hill. Probably will be Concealed Hill. And we'll see what map three is. I didn't. They start so fast. I didn't get to see what it was. I also like the original time more. Yeah, that's the only thing about the overlay that I, I I'm not stoked on. Because things like I don't normally go on the actual timer. I go on like how many dots it is. So not to be able to have, I guess the things at the top are technically dots, but it just doesn't, I can't look up at it and just know my timings right away looking at it, which does screw me up a bit sometimes. Regardless, Secret Valley actually will be the next map. Let's jump right into it because Happy might pull a ghoul here. <laughs> Give it a second to restart my game. Here we go. Bottom left, here's dice. Upper right, here's Happy. Not pulling a ghoul. No jewel ghoul here. But dice, not building an ancient of war. What is he doing? What is he doing? You know, I said that Happy was going to pull a ghoul. Dice probably thinking the same thing. But the counter to that is just to build your ancient of war like, you know, here, like a little further back. It's not to just not build it. What is he doing? What is going on? Am I taking crazy juice? Am I having an episode Potom? He's playing Potom Hunts? Get out of town. Get out of town with that one. I don't know. I don't I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Papa Hunk, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. How you doing? He's playing Potabuts. He's playing Potabuts because he's happy. Hey, if this works, if this works, everyone's going to be thanking Dice for the next 20 years. Thank you for saving the meta. Thank you for finding the key to defeat Happy. He's been saving this strategy for years, guys. He's just like, he didn't want to use it until the tournament was big enough, but he decided, okay, this, I, I can't lose to Happy another time. This is the time I beat this sucker. And he's going to. He's going to. Potom Hunt's the secret key strategy to defeating Happy. I tell ya. Wait, he hasn't built an Ancient of War yet. <laughs> he should already have an Ancient of War coming up. What is going on? Where's his Ancient of War? Is he... A player's he should... Are under attack. I mean, I don't play Potom Hunt's too often, but I do know the build order, guys. And he should have 
Two Ancient of Wars coming up. Is he teching on two Moonwells and a Hunter's Hall? What is he doing? Is this... Is this something I... Have I... Have I... Have I... Have I uh, am I not up to date? On my strategies? Steering Arrow Harass. All right. Is he... He's playing the equivalent of Farseer Headhunters. Fast tech. That's what this is. This is his Farseer, and this is his Great Hall attacking up to a Stronghold. What a genius. He's he's playing like an Orc player. He's playing like an Orc player. I love it. And Happy Mike was perfectly around that. Ultra Vision. And an AP. Now, why wouldn't he just tech with one Moonwell and the altar, though? Why the Hunter's Hall? Why the second Moonwell? Because, of course, that second Moonwell could already be done by the time it's nighttime, so you don't get any extra Moon Juice for building it earlier. Okay, boots of speed. And the AP's up. Nice base build. I like it. It's very aesthetic. And what is Happy gonna do here? The player's forces are under attack. Happy continues to scout for uh, Tree of Life. That's super, super smart because that's what I'd be expecting. Like, you know, you're playing a solo hero. Something crazy's going on, and often something crazy with a uh, with Night Elf means a weird expansion timing. Mass Whisprush, possibly, possible. As they say in Quebec. <laughs> okay, he has yet to build a unit. A player's forces are under mm, straight tech chimeras, maybe. I would love that. Although he's not gonna have chimeras until quote me here about eleven minutes. He goes for a tree of life and a demon hunter. It's just fast tech. It's just fast tech. This is kind of a sick strat, no? He's just skipping all the bullshit and going straight into fairy dragons with a demon hunter. Although I do think this would be better with a keeper. Oh, this is going to be a TP. I do think this would be better with a keeper. With a him. it kind of throws your, your opponent off, though. There's the TP. So he just expands. <laughs> Already has the AP for defense. And goes straight into Fairy Dragons. Uh, Alright. I'm not sure this is even that much faster though, really. Because of the Hunter's Hall in the second Moonwell before tacking. I don't need, like... When's his first Fairy Dragon going to be out? 6? 10? He's got no units to creep up the Demon Hunter. Did he cancel the Demon Hunter? He canceled the Demon Hunter. He canceled it. Alchemist, okay. Alright. Happy goes for Anaga. Happy probably like just making up the counter to this as he goes. Alright, Naga seems good, is what he was thinking. Tree of Life is going to get up. Can this AP go all the way around? No, it's, it's stuck. Oh, Ancient Protector creeping. New meta. Who needs an Ancient of War? We build APs here. Yeah, like, what would Happy do if Dice just built 12 APs? Right here, and just started moving them between his bases. Happy would need to go for meat wagons, but then how would he counter the fairy dragons? I think that is the ultimate strategy choice. Happy gets a crystal ball and sees the expansion perfectly on time. The happy knows what he's got to do. He's got to get to tier three, get to destroyers, get web, which he's getting right now. And then just push and then push and then push and then push. Or he could expand himself, which I, I think he'll be better off just attacking. 
because what are you gonna do? Oh, he doesn't even need destroyers. I'm so used to it being keeper fairy dragons. He could go without destroyers. He could just run across the map right now and he'd be fine. He's got two fiends. Yeah, he doesn't even need to get destro form ever this game. There's no use. He could just spam fiends and statues and get armor upgrades for the fiends. Oh, item on the ground. Right? <laughs> it's hiding in the bush. This is, is this Dota? Is that item a, a shadow fiend? They do have bushes in Dota, right? It's not just League. I don't know. Alright, so Dice has an AP, is yet to mine. The supply is even, which is not good. If the supply is even, the elf is leaving. And it uh, is, in fact, a supply advantage now for Happy. He's getting Destro form, maybe even out of habit, but <laughs> he doesn't need it. What would he possibly need a destroyer for? Is that a world first uprooted AP creep? Possibly. Possibly. Happy not fighting yet. Wisp is here to scout for a counter expansion, but I think Happy could just attack and win. He would it'd be great if he had that greater mana right now, because that would almost guarantee the win. But he doesn't have it, so he might run out of coils. But how are you supposed to secure kills? Without entangle. Let's see. Oh, and this bottom is just going to, to explode whenever she goes forward. Oh, and here comes Dice. Coil. Dodged. Very, very important dodge there. And he's focusing on the Naga that has a push from vulnerability as well. Oh, and this bottom is dead. There it is. Chemical raid as well for the alchemist. Naga okay, has a greater heal. And just nuking the alchemist. And every fairy dragon is and uh, wept and there's a grand final three zero for happy. Hey, the semi was very exciting, though, right? The semi, we we were happy with that semi-final, right? That concealed hill game. If you're watching this on YouTube, just go watch the semi-finals.